Let's get the very latest from Arlington right now. Meredith Morakovitz has the clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. Obviously, last night there was concern about Aaron Judge and that right hip. That continued into today. What's the latest on Judge? Bob, Aaron Judge is not in the lineup. We did not expect him to be. When I spoke to him after the game, he said it's going to be a couple of days. Now, the Yankees did send him for an MRI today. The results of that MRI not back yet, according to Aaron Boone. They'll likely have those either sometime during the game or in the post game. We should know more there. Now, we know how valuable Aaron Judge is to this Yankees team, not only from a leadership perspective, but his bat in the lineup. And he said all of this kind of stems from that slide on Wednesday in Minnesota when he woke up. Up the other day everything on his right side kind of locked up it was the second at bat second to last swing where he felt something grab a little bit in his hip so it's wait and see with Aaron Judge a lot of Yankees fans holding their breath and the Yankees organization certainly holding their breath that it's nothing major when it comes to Aaron Judge in the meantime Jake Jake Bowers is here with the team he left at about 7 a.m. this morning the Triple A team was just outside of Boston I spoke with him not that long ago about his hot start to the season so far. I think mentally I'm in a better spot now to kind of handle everything and that's really translated to my play. How did you get there or is it just a matter of experiences and having things happen to you throughout your career? Yeah, I think um, failing. I think failing is probably the best thing that's happened to me and um, having to learn how to deal with that and having to kind of come out the other side of that better and, um, you know, like I said, that's really kind of what's been kind of driving me this year so far. It looks like you've been swinging the bat pretty well down at AAA. What's clicked for you down there? Um, I think, you know, all credit to the Yankees on that. I think the hitting philosophy here has really helped me kind of unlock some things and uh, really be more consistent at the plate. What's different about their philosophy that maybe you didn't find with the other three organizations that you were with? Yeah, I think for me, a lot of it just has to do with um, the cage routines and stuff like that. You know, it's a lot of machine work, a lot of angles and stuff like that. And so I think um, I think that really just helps me, you know, getting into the game, having known that I've done work that's probably harder than what I'm going to see at 7 o'clock. And it looks like the power is coming as well. Is that something that you're at all surprised about? Uh, no, I mean, I always knew it was in there. I always, you know, when I click a ball, it's going far. But um, to be able to do it consistently and... Uh, you know, know that it's, you know, if I put a good swing on something that it's going to go, it's a good feeling. And, Bob, I think it's important to note that Bowers is not on the roster yet. Instead, he is on the taxi squad, still waiting on news on Judge. But Aaron Boone said he could be in play regardless of the way the Judge situation plays out. But here's a little bit more on Jake Bowers. Left-handed bat coming from Newport Beach, California. Three major league seasons with three different teams, Rays, Guardians, and Mariners. And I mentioned those numbers to start the season. 319 average, five doubles, nine homers, 20 RBI to go along with that insane OPS. Now, with no judge in the lineup tonight, the outfield from left to right is going to be Cabrera, Hicks, and Cordero. Also noteworthy, there's no Anthony Volpe, just a day off for him. But, Bob, I can tell you, he's feeling 22. Happy 22nd birthday to the rookie shortstop in Anthony Volpe.